Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea and you're joining me in the Babe Cave today. And I have combined two different tags. I'm not sure if one of them was a tag, but one is uh, that I think was created was bags I've never showed you on YouTube. <laughs> and the second one is my oldest handbags that I've owned. So those two are gonna be combined uh, the bags I haven't shown and the oldest ones I own. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. Now this first one, um, these first few I have gifted to my daughter. She's nine. Um, she doesn't really care about purses, but she wanted a few of mine that I really didn't want anymore. And so <laughs> this one right here is the first one that I gave her. And it's in that hunter green, you know, old school. This might even be like an 80s or 90s bag. I'm not sure the name. So if you know the name of this bag, then put it down in the comments. But it has the older style hang tag, you know, this thing's, you know, a bit beat up. It has water stains, you know, the buckle here. This says solid brass on the buckle. Um, here it has the feet on the bottom. I can't remember what color this green was called back in the day when I always wanted a green Dooney and Burke. Like that, that was the thing back in when I was in high school, but... You know, this is a little rough, um, but again, there's the little hang tag, and then there's the duck, and this is the all-weather leather. I mean, the leather is pretty decent, other than, you know, the corners, and the handle is, you know, seen better days, but it's a great little vintage bag, for sure. Usually, she has toys in her, so... Hopefully, I don't think this one does. I had to dust it off, <laughs> clean it, and, you know, condition it. But, yeah, see, it's got wear. But this buckle is a little cumbersome, but you could just leave it like that. But, you know, this is stitched on, you know, the, the little handle. It's got, a like, a bar for the top handle for reinforcement. Um, here's the interior, you know, the leather... And here is the Dooney tag, Dooney and Burke, made in the USA. And there's some fakes going around on all kinds of older Dooneys, but you just got to do your research. Um, you know, this is authentic. You want to look for that tag inside. A lot of times you can feel the difference. The other fake Dooneys are very plastic feeling, and they just look fake like they look and feel fake so this is her this is uh my daughter's vintage Dooney and Burke bag that I hadn't showed this next one is a Brighton bag and she added this love keychain which actually was mine but <laughs> she ends up with some of my stuff I have plenty but yeah it has the gold and silver toned hardware Along with this cute little heart zipper pull, you know, a little going out <laughs> leather Brighton bag. Um, and it has the the silver heart right here that you're, you're always going to see on a Brighton bag is this little charm here. Um, but let me show you the inside. It's just a little cute date night shoulder bag. Again, I don't know what she has in here, probably toys, <laughs> but look how this interior is really pretty. It's got swirls and stuff inside. I'm not gonna take her stuff out <laughs> since it's her bag, but here is the tag. It says, this Brighton collection handbags are individually crafted in China from quality leather. Any markings on the surface are part of the natural beauty, texture, and character of the leather, which make each bag unique. So I don't know a lot about Brighton bags, but look how tiny this little pocket is over here. Uh, it has Velcro. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
But anyway, it's a little gold Brighton bag. She's got her toys in it. So there is that one. This next one I got off I Love Dooney probably several years ago. They had this cute cupcake print. And this was uh, for her for Christmas, I believe. But I need to clean her stuff up. <laughs> I think this actually used to be really light. So even this has patinaed. And it's just a little, a little cute little wristlet well shoulder bag for her and she added this <laughs> hand sanitizer cute little thing here and yeah it has the braided zipper pull the red interior oh <laughs> same old you know here's the the Dooney and Burke label here got some perfumes it looks like and then on this side it has the Dooney and Burke ink um tag so yeah I got this for her it was not very much at the time and I think this is like a shiny coated canvas I'm not for sure on that but it has that vachetta trim on it it's really pretty and cute she needs to carry it <laughs> she has uh her own collection of purses and that's probably my fault but <laughs> I always like this little cupcake one and you really don't see these that much. So there's her third one. This is a wristlet. I probably haven't found all the ones I have given her. <laughs> but this is a wristlet. And it's like in a dark pink. With some tan DBs on it. Very cute. Nice zipper. Has a brown interior. That does not look good. <laughs> Um, it also has a key ring in it. And here is the tag for that one. I'm not sure, you know, the authenticity of this one. But it feels like it's the coated co cotton canvas material. So, I don't know. Is this real? I don't know. But she likes it and it's cute. And it's a cute wristlet. Now we're going to move on to my bags. All right. So this is a Wilson's leather black vintage. I'm, I'm not sure the year I bought this. <laughs> I know that Wilson's leather was in the mall and it's no longer there. And it's kind of a crinkly leather. Um, I just cleaned and conditioned it because <laughs> it needed it. But I've never gotten rid of this bag. Um, I just, it's really cute. I don't know, in the top handle, it has a good drop to it. So let me give you a, yeah, it's the black leather. It's held up. It's probably 20 years old. I don't know. I'm not really for sure on the date. It has the silver hardware. And that's a buckle, but yet it's magnetic right there. And it has a zipper so it's secure and here's the interior I had to clean the inside and that's where it says Wilson's leather which I thought they went out of business but they're still online um, I tried to get an affiliate with them to send me so I can compare their leathers from this older bag to their newer but I have yet to get one so stay tuned we'll see but yeah, this one is old school because it has the old, I want to say, Nokia phone pocket because it's tiny. I use these pockets for my uh, six key ring holder. It fits in these old cell phone pockets. Um, so it has, you know, a couple of card slots here and a zipper pocket. And then behind here is another spot you can put something. And then, of course, the zipper pocket is on the other side. So, yeah, this is my, probably my oldest that I've never gotten rid of. Never tried to sell it. I don't know. I just, there's just something about it. And so, this is my Wilson's leather bag. You can tell I like top handles. Even back in, you know, the older ages when I was younger, I liked top handle and shoulder bags. So, this one... It, um, I'll get the receipt out because I did keep it. Um, it's I think I'll make sure, but I think it's called the Hampton. 
and it's you know that the old seas and this is a fabric it's not coated I of course got a stain right here but this is from 2010 so this is 13 years old you know it's uh probably seen better days too I need to do a little more cleaning it has a feet on the bottom it's that black you know fabric here and then leather braiding detail right there I like this big buckle in the front has coach on there coach up here this was an outlet bag I believe so let me pull this is the I never understood this zipper <laughs> like why did it not go all the way I don't know that's kind of weird to me I never liked bags like that, but I still have this one, so I must like it, right? It has the, even it has the dangly, like in the, their vintage bags have these dangly zipper pulls, but here's the tag, and you can tell this is a factory bag outlet with the F in the number right there. And so it has, you know, a slip, another slip, and then the zipper which is where my info, it, here's a card that was inside of it, Coach Collection, my receipt. Here's the original tag that was on it. And silver, black, white. I believe that says Hampton Signature, but correct me if I'm wrong down below. Of course, they always put this stupid high number. And then it was on sale for $2.99, but you know I didn't pay that. <laughs> so this was 2010. I ain't paying that. Uh, here is the... Yeah, this is the Coach Outlet. Here's the... It was $149, and there must have been an extra discount, because I end up paying... Oh, let's see. I ended up paying 120. I must have got another item as well, but yeah, this bag was $120 back in 2000. It was September 2010. See, it's good to keep your receipts and your tags, <laughs> especially if you keep them so you know when and where they came from, how it, how you got it. <laughs> the history, if you will. This is the 2010 Hampton with the black signature C's. So this bag is from 2011, and I had th I believe I've showed this one, and I have the receipt inside. But this, you know, when they did the the new C's, which not everyone likes, but I like this kind of metallic ish fabric that they did. I think it's pretty. I wore the heck out of it <laughs> when I got it because it was pretty expensive for the time. And But there's no feet on the bottom. And this came from the retail site or the retail store, I should say. And here it has, you know, this magnetic side. And here you can tell that it came from the boutique. There's no F there. So this, and it has this pretty teal blue interior, but it's huge and it has two magnetic sides and then the inside zipper. That was kind of the style, I think, you know, back then. But let me uh, close it up and tell you a bit about this. Yeah, see, I got this kind of receipt, little holder. And then the coach collection, and then my receipt. I paid $213, and that was 9 15 2011. So, yeah, I, I even think this was on sale. <laughs> and what this is called, I guess I didn't keep the tag, um, but I believe. I want to say optic lettering, but I'm not sure what the, but it has the silver hardware. Yeah, let me know if you remember the name of this. I want to say, I'm not sure what the name of this is called. So anyway, that was from 2011 and you know, it's a shoulder bag, silver hardware. It actually came with the patent hang tag here. 
patent leather and then a regular one. So I got two on this one. It's a good shoulder bag. It's really big. <laughs> Here's the back again. So there's that one. This next one I have showed a lot of times and I always get compliments on it when I show it. And it's a very pretty orange, almost salmon orange color. But again, it has those um, newer back in the day C's with the tan and the fabric, the brass hardware, a leather pull here, leather here, the hang tag. This bag, which I'll pull out the receipt here in a second. This was an outlet bag. It has feet on the bottom. I think if I were to sell this, it would be snatched up really quickly. It has the top handle and it has a really nice shoulder strap. Here is the interior. It has that silky fabric again, so it was around that same time frame as my last one I showed you. Um, and it's got one, two slip pockets and a zipper pocket. Again, here's where you'll see an F right here. It means it's from the Coach Outlet Factory. And let me... Yeah, I love carrying this. Even to this day, I still carry it a lot. It says, Made in Vietnam. And here is my receipt for it. Oh, yeah. See, I've used the heck out of it. You could see some dirt on the on the silk. It wasn't the best lining for, for this era because a lot of these end up with some wear right there. But it's still a cute, cute bag. Um, the year I got this, this was June of 2014. And guess how much I paid for it? You can guess down below. From 2014, I paid $76 with tax <laughs> at the outlet. Good price, right? <laughs> it's a gorgeous bag, and I don't plan on selling it. But if I did, I might get my money back on it. Who knows? You never know. But that is my 2014 bag. This next one I got from a local leather shop here in my town. And when you walk into this store, all you smell is this leather. And, oh, uh, it is amazing if you love the smell of leather like I do. So this is actually a CCW purse. Um, and, you know, the pew pew type. And you fit it through here. And my fingers touch. And it has, like, this... I don't know what that material is. Really soft. Looks like sheep or something. I don't know. <laughs> but fuzzy material. Zips off both sides. And the hardware is kind of like a, a gunmetal hardware. And here is the little tassel it came with. I like this de detailing here too. I went in there. I saw it. I was like, uh, no, I don't want to get it. And I probably paid about $100 for it. Maybe five, six years ago, um, and I ended up going back because I loved it so much, and so there's the bottom if I didn't show you, and so you open this, it has two magnetics right here, but then also it has this zipper here, two zippers on each side, and it opens up like this, and I don't know if I've ever showed this on my channel, <laughs> But it has three card slots and a, another one here and then this slot here. So if you didn't want to carry your wallet and you wanted to do it this way, you could put your cards in there. But yeah, I just thought it was cool. It had so many compartments and so many neat little features about it. <clears throat> so it has the... And it's a crossbody strap. And there's that. And on the inside, it has the zipper and then one slip pocket, and it's a brown interior. This was a leather company in my town, and I could not resist it. I had to go back. So I'm not for sure on the age. I'm surprised I didn't keep the tag, but it's a pretty, like, camel brown color, and it's super soft, super, super soft. And it might have even been lighter when I bought it, um, so it's aged probably a little bit 
since I've even had it. I hope you enjoyed this video of handbags you haven't seen and also my my oldest bags that I own and kept. Um, those aren't to say I, I do have older bags, but I these are ones that I've had the longest. So, and this one I'm not sure you've seen. So, I hope you enjoyed it, this video, and if you did, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and tell me what you think of my bags that you haven't seen. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye!